Welcome back to the Morning Blend. Well, every Saturday from 8 until noon, or almost every Saturday, the farmer's market near my house puts on a big spread. I get up early, get all the kids out the door. We shop for fresh fruits, veggies, flowers, jam, soup, you name it. It's there, and it's fantastic. So today, how to navigate the farmer's market near you. Yeah, and we asked you on Facebook the other day where your favorites were, but Melinda Myers is the plant doctor. She's making a house call today because she loves farmer's markets, too, and we've got a whole list of them for you. You bet. And all you have to do is go online and do farmers markets in the Milwaukee metro area and you'll get the hours, the locations, and then a lot of them have websites where you can click through and see who the vendors are so you can plan ahead. It's kind of like going grocery shopping hungry. Mm -hmm. you, know, yes. you know, if you're going yes. Saturday, I'm guessing you probably snack along the way, <laughs> take a little break. A lot of them have wonderful coffee and bakery. They do. And sandwiches for lunch. So it can be an event, which I think is exciting. Well, and you can. You can take the kids, get some hot chocolate or coffee or juice or something like that. A lot of times bakery things. And then a lot of times there are some great ethnic dishes. So I bring home lunch. I buy like enchiladas and tamales mm -hmm. and, and things like that. And I think people, if, if you think there's not a farmer's market near you, oh. which I thought, you're probably wrong. Because oh, they're definitely. like everywhere and they're fantastic. Yes. And we're very lucky. So, you know, um, you know, getting ready, it was like, what's my favorite? Well, you know, West Dallas is that traditional. I was in South Milwaukee, started a new one, and they had tons of mushrooms and honey and all kinds of different things that you could get. You know, a lot of times we think of the traditional vegetables, mm -hmm. and I wish I could say these were from my garden, but peppers <laughs> and tomatoes. But like you said, not only can you get ethnic food, you can get the ingredients. You know, cilantro has become very popular. Oh, I love cilantro. And you can grow it in your garden. But yeah. you know what? Sometimes we don't have enough to preserve, or mm -hmm. maybe we have a special dish, or maybe it's gone to seed and your new planting's not ready. The other thing is it's all about seasonality. Yeah. So we've had a cool spring. Things are going to be a little late, but cool season, fast crops like radishes. Oh, my kids love, because of my mom, they love sliced radishes on bread with a little butter. Yum. Ooh, I've never even heard of that. Excellent. Yeah, it's not my favorite, but they all love it. They're I'll very send peppery. these radishes home oh, with you. You mm -hmm. can take we'll those. I'm not that. sure my grandkids are ready for that. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, you know, so I think, it, and the other thing is, sometimes you may grow your own veggies, but maybe you want to can and preserve. You know, I picked up some nice Roma tomatoes. But when you're ready to can, maybe your tomato crop isn't in. Or if you're a small space gardener like me, you'll have room for one or two plants. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad you brought these back. Bags because yeah. this is something I always well I learned to bring after visiting farmers market. Bring some of your um, uh, bags exactly. um, so that you don't have to, to get a bag there. It's greener, um, and a lot of times they don't maybe have bags or boxes. So this is a great idea to bring, and, mm -hmm. and you can just put one of these in your purse. Oh, exactly. And Easy. a friend gave me this, which are four bags folded up into one. Oh, so oh, right that's there cool. I have Look four bags, and so you're right. And I always end up buying way more than I plan. Yes. it never goes to waste. And those plastic bags are hard to maneuver and yep. this way I can put them into one or two bags. So I have a question for you. Yes. As somebody who has not been to a lot of farmers market, markets, one thing that I have because oftentimes I'm just buying food for myself, I don't want a large quantity. Can you pick and choose singular oh. items at a farmers oh, market? Oh definitely. Okay. It's usually they'll offer quantity discount but they're happy to do it, break it down into okay. smaller bits. Mm -hmm. And one of the things is you mentioned unusual foods. There may be fruits and vegetables you've never grown or eaten before and it's a great way to plan your garden for next season. I always say Go try that unusual pepper before yeah. you grow it in the garden or some of the vegetables or fruit you've never had before. And a lot of times mm -hmm. if you'll meet the people who grow it, so they have great ideas on how to saute it or cook it up or different ideas on how to make a pie with rhubarb or whatever it is. Exactly, and a lot of them give away recipes. And sometimes you may even see purslane sold. Purslane is a weed for many of us. It did great last year in the hot, dry weather, but used by many different cultures, the um, Hispanic culture and uh, Hmong culture, they'll steam it and butter it and it tastes like spinach. So huh. a lot of the employees who are out tending the garden said, we need to sell this at the garden market because yeah. people will buy it. So it's a chance to try those things that may actually be growing in your garden. Or you've never yeah. even heard of. Mushrooms, you said, are great, but don't plants? forget plants and flowers. Exactly. I mean, they're amazing at these, farmer's markets. The aroma from these you, is amazing. I can great? smell it from here. It's so fresh. When I pick pansies, I always color as one thing, fragrance is the other. They're not all fragrant, so you want to do it. And cut flowers, too. What's mm -hmm. ever in season, you can walk home with a bouquet, and flowers can generate a smell. And you're supporting local people. I mean, exactly. that's the biggest thing to me. You get beautiful produce. You get great homemade jams and things like that. But the ability or the, the opportunity to support local people. Right. And talking about support, bring small bills and lots of them. Speaking of that, look at Tiffy. I brought some small bills. <laughs> <laughs> and we want to ask you where they came from. Uh -huh. <laughs> but it just makes it easier to buy. It's easier for the farmer. <laughs>
Um, I got this last night. <laughs> and it's very reasonable with four bucks. That could actually go a long way at a farmer's market. Oh, oh I got more than that. Could. Oh, you got nine you've bucks. Got, you've got, you can take care of all of us. <laughs> <laughs> and, I love it. <laughs> and if you've ever picked bush beans, I'll tell you, a bag of beans is worth whatever they're charging. If they've picked them for me and bush they're fresh beans. from the garden, I hate picking beans. So it's a great it. way to do it. Well, people can find out more about you and everything that's going on at your website. It's melindamyers.com. And you've got your garden walks coming up, the spring renewal. Renewal is going on the 15th and the 21st at Burner Botanical. The phone number to call to register for the Spring Renewal Garden Walk with Melinda is 414-525-5659. We also have a giveaway right now. So if you want to take that Spring Renewal Walk with Melinda, caller number 7 will win if you call us right now at 414-799-4444. And again, we want to remind you that all the Farmer's Markets list is actually on our website, The Morning blend.com along with this segment so if you pull it up excellent. there'll be a link to go to the journal sentinel with all of the farmers markets in town and that's an excellent list that's yeah. the one i was checking out and the proceeds from the burner walks go to support children's education so Love you're that. doing a good thing we'll talk challenges of the season see some beautiful flowers and support kids education awesome. you're fantastic Thanks, Melinda. thank Love you